So my mom had an affair with her former kindergarten student. Hi, if you're new to my account, my name's Catherine, and a few years ago, I found out that my mom was sleeping with my husband. Um, excuse me? Um, did I hear you correctly? Your mama had an affair with your husband? Carry on. But that affair was not my mother's only affair. Now, I guess at least she waited to have this affair with her former student when he was no longer a minor anymore. At least. But here's what's crazy. She was having an affair on my dad with my husband and then cheating on my husband with this kid. Okay, I'm going to call this kid Jason. So now she went from your husband to Jason. Mm, let's hear about Jason a little bit more because your mama is a cougar cougar. Ain't gonna judge, you know what I'm saying? Because these young bucks can throw your back out. But let's continue. Um, And for context, when the affair took place, I believe he was either 18 or 19. I can't remember which, but he was legally an adult. So my mom was a stay-at-home mom most of my life. But once my youngest sibling had entered kindergarten, she didn't want to be a mom at home with no kids. So once my little brother had entered kindergarten, my mom had signed up to be like the teacher's assistant. So she would go to kindergarten to school with my little brother every day. And in my little brother's class, he had a best friend named Jason. Now I watched Jason grow up because my brother stayed friends with him throughout elementary school, middle school, high school, and to my knowledge, I think they're still friends now even. My brother started playing football in middle school. I don't know if Jace was on the team with him, but I do know that once they entered high school, they did play football together. And once he was in high school, my mom started to make some really weird comments to and about him. Now, she would say these things in front of him, in front of my brother, in front of my dad, in front of my siblings, in front of my husband at the time. I'm divorced now, but in front of him, like she would say this in front of everybody. She would tell him how handsome he was and how sexy his body was. She would make comments like, oh, Jason, you better not be left alone in a room with me. You never know what might happen. Or like if my brother and Jason would be hanging out, playing video games summertime, they'd be hanging out with their shirts off like teenage boys do. And my mom would say stuff like, Jason, you can't look like that around me. It makes me feel a way I shouldn't feel. So there was this one time that I was over at my parents' house. I'm standing in the kitchen with my mom. We're chatting. And then my brother walks into the room. And he was like, oh my gosh, look at these pictures I took in the locker room after football practice today. And he pulls out his phone and he turns it to us. And it is a fully nude photo of Jason. He's doing a headstand um, in the locker room, unclothed. And my immediate reaction is, whoa, what the fuck? Why the hell are you taking pictures like that? Get that shit off your phone. That's child corn. But of course, that wasn't my mom's reaction. She grabs the phone and zooms in. Ooh, your mama nasty, nasty. But carry on, because this story's getting kind of juicy. Exactly where you're thinking she zoomed in. So fast forward, it is like January or February of 2022, only a few weeks before I found out my mom was sleeping with my husband. And my mom's over at my house. She, my husband and I, the three of us are watching TV or a movie, something. Something's on the TV that we're watching. My mom is sitting next to me on the couch and she's on Snapchat. And when I look at her phone, I see that she's Snapchatting Jason. So I'm like, mom, why are you Snapchatting Jason? So then she's like, yeah, we've actually been talking for a while now. So then she starts to scroll through like the saved Snapchat history. And they're not just talking. Their conversation is very explicit and X-rated. And then as she's showing me these, a new snap comes in from him and it's a photo. It's a photo of a wheat. Mm, mm. It's an eggplant. It's a photo of an eggplant, his eggplant. And she replies with a saved photo of her own, of her. Uh, honeydew melons. Now, as she's talking to me about this relationship she's having with Jason, my husband's sitting on the other side of the couch listening to this, not responding, not interacting, not engaging in the conversation. In hindsight now, I'm like, oh my God, like, 
you were effing my mom. And then you also knew that she was effing around with Jason? As they're exchanging photos back and forth, my mom and Jason, he ends up asking her, so are you gonna come over again tonight? So uh, my mom left and met up with Jason that night. Isn't it crazy that my dad is still married to this woman? Nah, so this is not hot tea. This is hot patty when it just come out of the oven. It's hot and you have to... <laughs> I try to eat it. Yeah, that, that, this is too much. This is too much. But what y'all think? <laughs>